coming soon from Sorgatron Media. Yeah, but it's got right freaking here, Ninja Turtles, NYC right? Thing. Exactly. Um, then, then you have... Huh. And I thought it was really cool. What did you think of the Suicide Squad, Mike? Mike? <coughs> All right, Bleak. And um, that thing. You know the thing, Sorg. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, shit, no! <laughs> We'll fix it in post. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. guys welcome back a week off but we're back on the rambling movie minute our little digital water cooler in the corner of the internet i'm uh, mike sorg at sorgatron on twitter with me the usual host with the most it's the rambling mango malengo how you doing i'm good how you doing all right all right not uh not keeping up with the movies but i got a project done so i am going to be just attacking the movies and the video games and all that kind of stuff this weekend. I can't wait. Uh, Mad Mike also joining us from the Bronx, New York. I have been keeping up with the movies, sir. Yes, you have. You've been making up for it, and that's why we have you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Malenga, you have a lot to discuss this week. It, it, it sounds like we're kind of doing an open discussion here. Uh, so so what what's going on? Yeah, I'm just doing, let's just do like an open discussion this week. But I will like run down what's in theaters the last couple. I'll say this coming up weekend okay. and last week. Okay. So uh, last week a big one came out, Noah, and I have issues with Noah. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, I have so many issues with Noah. I think right off the bat, That's why like, I didn't I didn't see it. But like, I just have so many. I mean, issues it really it. just kind of looks like Gladiator on a boat, right? Yeah, it's Gladiator, and so I read a review that was pinpoint, but it's basically like um, Gladiator and uh, something else. But basically, it's Russell Crowe and Petting Zoo on water. <laughs> isn't isn't this just Waterworld with a pregnant Hermione? Yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of. And I was disappointed <laughs> with her her character at the end. Anyway, yeah, there's that. That kid's book too, Divergent. That Mike, did you go see that? I did not. I, but... I did. Yeah. I saw Divergent. How, um, uh, what'd you think of that? I I enjoyed the concept of it. I enjoyed the concept of it. Uh, it's it's very dystopian universe, very Hunger Games ish. So if you like the if you like the I'll say this out front. If you like the Hunger Games, go see Divergent. You'll appreciate it. Um, All right. That said. I don't buy uh, the lead actress Shailene Woodley as a badass. That was oh. the only that was the only thing that really kind of made me not outwardly just like it, but because the uh, the main male lead is really good and Kate Winslet is awesome. She's fantastic in it, and I'm curious to see where the next one's gonna go because I haven't read the books and I don't really plan on reading them. But it was it was really really fun another movie is it slated for a sequel oh i'm sure it probably is i mean it's a whole big book series so that seems to be the trend now i mean they made a second percy jackson one <laughs> i don't see why they wouldn't make a second right. version that is true how many narnia films uh, are we up to now that nobody cares about that's a fair point <laughs> mm -hmm. i thought we only had two narnia films oh there's at least three maybe probably four. no there's at least three, because I think Prince Caspian was like the third one or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, pretty sure they did one after. They, 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 back, really, like the um, they really let go of the budget, and it's it's like almost a straight to DVD at this point, I think, because they're like, we know a certain section of people will buy this. Uh, and I actually, like, I was reading, like, or watching, like, the second or third one, and I'm like, what happened to this series as far as the movies go? Because I'm like, this looks a lot different. And they did lose a lot of their... Um, uh, financial backing because I don't think the first one did like nearly as good as it should have. It, it, it really, I mean, I, I feel like that's that's a movie that should have been kind of blockbuster as many people like you know knew about it. Read the know? books and grew up. It's a it. rare one that I actually knew the first book, you know, as opposed <laughs> yeah. to you know Divergent and Hunger Games and stuff like that or Harry Potter even. You know, I've never read any of this stuff. I missed the boat on that, you know. So I don't know. 
What about the uh, Muppets Most Wanted? Anybody get a chance to see that? I saw it. Uh, saw me, it. me and the girlfriend took our uh, her three nephews to it. It's awesome. It's fantastic. It's so much Did, fun. Uh, how old were the Tons- kids? Uh, the nephews are six, eight, and ten, I believe. I believe they're, that's the two-year di- distinction between each of them. And but got, like, they the all loved it. And whatnot. Yeah, yeah, they they all they all loved it. The songs were great. Um, I've been talking like Constantine for the past week and a half because the I, accents very I easy. I the phase in that. It's not easy being mean. It's it's the most horrible like villain accent you can possibly do, but it's just so much fun. Man, that's actually one that. I don't know why I missed. I kind of want to see that. And, and the reviews, too, didn't, like, they didn't sway me because a lot of people said that this was tailored to an older demographic. A lot of the younger jokes, they felt like missed the spot. But for the older demographic, like, they thought it was very funny. If you like the first Muppet movie, you'll like the second one. Nice. Yeah. Um, hey, wait, before we move on, so my gripe on Noah, right, besides it just not matching the actual story of Noah. Um, so the person's depiction on this movie is hilarious and in the sense that it's just bad uh, with mystical creatures and whatnot. But um, it's more the budget for this. So it's after look, doing the numbers after week one, this movie is a flop. So the does it make me? It kind of makes me feel like um, I don't know. They probably should have just. It, it's kind of weird that if they had just kept the story, like how it was written, from you know, the Bible, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they would have made a lot more money from this. Because I, I, I've never heard of this. I, did I miss that book just like I did Harry Potter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, it drags, uh, it know, drags a bit in the middle, sort. I, I tried to go into this being biased, saying like, "All right, if I don't know anything about this and I don't go to church, and you know, I'm not what I still think I would have not liked this movie." Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it had a budget of 125. It's only scraped in 46 million domestically. Yeah, but really, don't you for, don't you expect that every church is going to own a copy of this? No, no the Catholic actually, Church oh. is against this movie. Really. Oh yeah, because really? um, I read an article saying that Noah doesn't talk to God; he just sees visions. Yeah, so that's it. their big sticking point. Like in the movie, he's not actually talking to God. Apparently, he's just seeing visions of a world that's been flooded. Oh, and yeah. Okay, okay, we won't get into uh, 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 religious interpretations <laughs> yeah. here, we're, but we're not good to know. Probably so, not. So without getting idea. into that, like, well, that's interesting, and I, that's, I can't believe that's the only sticking point with this. Um, I mean, well, we're not getting, it's we're the not getting into the religious stuff at all. Like, I'm trying to look at it, like I said, I'm trying to be biased and just look at it as a movie. Because I went, I went into it, like, this is the one movie, too, that surprisingly... The uh, like, because Mike, I, I constantly like will rattle off the Rotten Tomato ratings, and but the reason why I like the Rotten Tomato ratings is because it pulls a large pool of newspaper uh, critics as well as user critics, and this is the first time that I have like just blatantly disagreed with the critics because I, I literally watched this movie trying not to be biased and like I couldn't see what they liked in this movie. And the, some, and course, some people the, just like Russell Crowe being shirtless and doing woodwork. Yeah, this is kind of like how my mom will watch like any Nicolas Cage movie for some reason. Did uh, I stop you guys there? I'm sorry. Any Nicolas Cage movie, Sork? Uh, well, I mean, that, that was a fact a few years ago, but um, <laughs> I don't know if she owns a copy of Ghost Rider 2. Oh, man. Anyway, let's move on <laughs> from box office stuff. So, uh, hey, something came out this weekend, guys. Oh. It was a trailer. Okay. 
And my question is, how do you ruin a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie? You add Michael I Bay to it. I disagree. I wholeheartedly no, I... disagree as a Turtles fan. I'm taking my mom to see this because she took me to the first one. So we're it's completely working for us. I I'm, I'm excited. I like how this you're, looks. You're, you're gonna be just pause, pause it right there. What the uh... very first shot is Transformers. It's like he didn't even need to reshoot anything. He uh... just pulled raw footage from the other movie that he did. But you know I don't no. care. You know what? I'm in. I'm in. Here's, here's it's badass. The now, there's right? enough stuff going on. There's there's callbacks to like the cartoon I remember from just looking at the trailer. I think the turtles look badass. Um, it looks like there's going to be a better sense of humor than Transformers. I, I just I have a better feeling about this trailer um, as a turtles fan than I did from the first trailer for Transformers as a Transformers fan. I'm as a undecided. turtles fan. I will waste my money to see this, and as a Turtles fan, I will be greatly disappointed. Well, I, I mean, I'm going, I'm going to see this movie. Yeah, I mean, because, well, it's just like I'm going to see Transformers Four. You know, regardless, I'm going because yeah. I'm going to see the Transformers. Okay, there are there are thing there are things about the trailer that I like. Mm -hmm. Like I appreciate. That Joe Bluth is Vernon Crackshaw from the cartoon. Right there, you have me. That is that's accurate. I love it. It seems like it's a perfectly cast role. I don't know. A, like, why are the, can someone answer me? Why are the turtles giants? Yeah, that that's my that was my only sticking <laughs> that's my only sticking point with this is like, like they are like, unless me, unless big. Megan Fox is like four six. And I've never noticed this because I've been Lils. staring at her boobs. It's all about angles. <laughs> but yeah, no. That was I a really like, small like the motorcycle that she was grinding on in that in that Transformers movie. Okay. And optical I illusions. really, I, I want to see how it plays out with Shredder. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but, I don't know if I like the scientific Shredder. And also, have that, we that, heard anything about sense. Splinter? That makes sense, no. though. They did not show Splinter or talk That's about fine. Splinter. That's well, fine. That's fine. Maybe they haven't. That maybe the render farm isn't done with well, Splinter yet. Okay. But no, like, has anyone heard anything? Like, is there a cat? Is there like someone playing Splinter? Like, is there a Splinter? I don't know. I don't. I'm trying to recall. I don't think I've heard trailer. anything about it. I don't think I heard. I thought he said in the trailer that like. Um, we were like I thought he referenced it as like we were trying to create heroes. I like this, but that. yeah, it, it, it feels like yeah. That. But he was talking about um, William Fitchner's character and April's dad. There's no mention of Hamato Yoshi. Guys, it's like a minute and a half trailer. Well, I know, it's but it's just a minute and a half trailer. It's to get I'm you just excited. Saying, like I it's haven't heard anything enough. about from like casting it's or anything. It's just like enough. That. Danny Woodburn is uh, slated to play okay. Splinter, according to IMDb. I imagine he's well. You know what? He might. What is he? A voice? Or... Oh my god! They're having. Oh my god! They're having Mickey the Midget play Splinter. <laughs> if you don't know what who he is, yeah, it's Mickey the Midget. It's uh, oh that, my oh that, the Smoochie, oh. Uh, employee of the month, Conan in the Bur yeah, like yeah, that's. Uh, Oh, I don't know if I like that or hate that. <laughs> uh, at this point, we should just CG a furball. Oh, I don't. I don't know if I like that or hate that. We'll see. Okay, I, I have to see more. Yeah, because apparently Whoopi Goldberg is also in this. What? <laughs> yeah, what? Um, I'm and... telling you, it can nothing good will come of this. I think. I think it's a big upgrade of Whoopi Goldberg's in it. What are you talking about, Bernadette? Oh Thompson. my God, they they have. All right, I'm looking at this IMDb because I had to see if they cast Splinter. Irma's in it. Karai is in it. Oh wow! And, they touch on a lot and, of stuff here. And Baxter Stockman is in it. Yeah, and and they're going with they're going with original black Baxter Stockman. Okay, there. I, I, I'm telling you, I see a lot of things, little little things. I know, but there's a lot of things in this trailer that are 
definitely playing homage to the original tr- tr- Ninja Turtles. We, they didn't change it. It is Teenage Mutant. It isn't Aliens or some crap like that. It is TGRI. There's Ooze. Yeah, there's they, Shredder. They made what more do you freaking want? Really How many iterations? Really? are we? I mean, there's no female Ninja Turtle. Okay, there's one plus column. There's no... Um, there's no back to the future crap like they were doing it's ninja turtles guys and they're crazy looking and it's gonna be fun i don't expect don't expect an emmy winner with this guys it's it's a michael bay film you want things blown up and ninja turtles kicking something in the face you know presumably foot soldiers i'd hope you know uh Uh, did sword did you see the foot soldiers i thought i did they're in the they're in the the trailer I i thought they looked kind of interesting they look like the shield. <laughs> they do look like the shield. <laughs> they look like the shield. Uh, cast crossover right there. All right, there's about enough about Ninja Turtles. What else is going on? <laughs> this is a hot Although, fun topic. I We're going to be pay debating big this. Money when does this to come see out? Michelangelo beat the crap out of Roman Reigns. This comes out in August. We have several months for this. We got a lot between here and there. We got a lot of superheroes. We got a lot of giant robot dinosaurs speaking of superheroes sword guess what comes out this week captain america yeah look we were just we were just talking about making our plans to get out there malengo you're actually going to have me watching a recent movie yes sticking to my plan i'm excited about that i uh (laughs) i don't know if you got any of the the tweets mike i think you got some of the tweets but all over they've been showing like featurettes of uh or yeah of this movie and Surprisingly, usually I don't like that, but they gave they didn't really give anything away, and I think it just made me more excited. I avoid these things like the plague. I, well, I'm not. Where, where have they been showing them online or? They've been showing them everywhere. Yeah, they're showing them online. They showed them on the Marvel Building a Universe special that they had a couple weeks ago, hey, which was uh, awesome. Let me ask you: is that is that online anywhere? I don't know. Do you know, I can take a look, but it, that was really. And that's really ABC. Good. Maybe it's on ABC, ABC's site. But um, what am I looking at here? I think I found the video game one. Yeah, what's the wrong trailer? <laughs> so I was like, this doesn't look like the right movie. Um, actually, I did watch some movies I, I can bring up that's attached to this uh, that I was going to bring up last week if, uh, in a moment. Um, this just reminded me. Uh, but no, but the, I, I'm. Do you guys think it's going to hold up? That's the other debate. Is this is Marvel going to continue the? height of avengers i I heard uh, some other shows saying that um uh, you know iron man 3 felt like avengers 2 so it still rode the wave of of how how did iron man 3 feel like avengers 2 that was i didn't agree with it it's just what people have been saying i i I think if anything this might feel like avengers 2 because you have shield that's you have black widow you have helicarriers like yeah like if anything, Iron Man just felt like a complete departure from Avengers, which because, I enjoyed, uh, which I really enjoyed. Oh yeah, me too. Like, I mean, Tony could have put in a call to Asgard, and Thor could have cleared up whole, you know, I, that whole I uh, like, Air Force I like one the thing, idea like, of these movies, and and even watching Agents of Shield, be like, no, I I know a god, and and I can call him if I want to, but I'm not going to, you know. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, Did that, you just say that you like the third Iron Man. Or was yeah. I mishearing What's that? wrong with Iron Man yeah, 3? What's, yeah, what's wrong with Iron Man 3? I did not like the third Iron Man. Oh, it completely no. departed from one of the like the best heroes in their series. It's breaking them down, man. No. I mean, you broke them down. I, this this guy saw aliens and you gave him PTSD. Player. I thought it was a great concept. It was Dude, it was this guy humanizing. literally almost died in space. Yes! He literally almost died in space. If, if, and, you, if you don't have Tony Stark kind of reflect and freak out about that i gotta think this guy is not a soldier this guy is not have does not have superpowers he's just a smart dude with a fancy suit he which... he is a man in a can as he said to himself yes yeah, so i'm not saying that it was a bad movie i'm just saying i don't think it was as strong as the other two or and especially writing off of the avengers coattails you got Thor right after that. I Thor still, was much better. Of a I movie. still think I still think Iron Man three was a stronger movie. I mean, it wasn't and as Thor? much fun, but I thought it was a strong, like just movie. Like Iron Man movie, three had had, had a had a muddling middle. Hey, I'll can give we it can that. we just can we just can we just agree on one thing that Iron Man three is better than any of the Transformers movies and probably Transformers four. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, right, we're good. Okay, <laughs> so as long as we end on agreeance, we can move on. Um, 
<laughs> never go to bed angry, Swank. Exactly. Never never end a podcast angry. Uh, Molingo, can I bring up something that I watched this past week? And I know Mike's going to join me on this. Um, I, watched a car t- I-, I watched a movie that I've been waiting for for months. Okay? And, and it came out on my birthday, so I'm like, I am canceling everything else on my birthday, and I'm watching this movie. And I watched, my friend, Scooby-Doo's WrestleMania Mystery. <laughs> and it was fun. It was a blast. Yeah. I, <laughs> I haven't watched one of these Scooby-Doo movies in a while, right? And, um, I mean, you guys remember the old cartoons where, like, the Globetrotters would show up in, like, the Globetrotter mobile and stuff like that, right? Of yeah. course. That's pretty much what they did to WWE. So, Mike, you saw it, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I did. I, I, like they, there's a WWE city, and there, everybody's training there, and WrestleMania is there, and it, it's completely like Scooby Dooified the entire WWE experience. And they had actual, um, and, and, and it made fun of itself a lot, which I really enjoy. Which I think those movies have done for a while, ever since the Zombie Island when they started coming back, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean. Uh, uh, Sin Cara, I think, I, as we'll get more in this maybe on the show uh, later tonight, but I, like, like Sin Cara, who is, he if you're talks a wrestling through fan, interpretive dance. He, yeah, he talks through interpretive dance. And there's like this crazy Mexican wrestling legend, and it's, it's, it's some good stuff. It's some fun. About Sin Cara Sr., who Sin- I'm now assuming is Mystico, and the one that we have is Sin Cara Jr. I don't know. I think like you could easily interchange Rey Mysterio in that spot, for one thing. you know. Um, I, I kind of wish that Slam City was already a thing before they did this crossover. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, I um. Side note on a uh, no, no, no. That's for another show. Remind me, remind me to bring this thing up on the other show, okay? But no, it was fun. Yeah. I watched that, and then uh, kind of keep it in the theme. I finished off Iron Man: Rise of the Technovores. If you don't like anime, it's anime oh. with Iron Man. It was bad, Sorg. Good I've seen luck. that. I own that. Good luck. Like it's good until Man. why does every anime have to end with weird, um, illogical monster? You know what I mean? And it's and, either that or tentacle porn, sir. And it kind of was a little Jeez. bit of both in this one. <laughs> uh, and then I followed it up because it was on the recommendations. Um, the uh, Hulk and Iron Man Heroes Unite. Which I haven't was, seen that one. It's, it's kind of rough. It's not for uh, it's not for us. It's kind of for the kids. Like it's not entirely mm. a uh, superhero squad, but it's not too far off. Um, I fell asleep in it. I just couldn't do it. But it's on Netflix. So it but but it's on Netflix, and if you like Iron Man and Hulk, throw it on. See what it's about. It's it's a uh, kind of fun CG with that. But it's not like even the Marvel Knights like motion comic stuff is tons better than that. So well, the um the Iron Man anime they did was way better. Yeah, yeah, and that, and that's why I thought when I saw the the movie, I'm like, oh, is this just more of the anime? Because I, I didn't finish. I didn't complete the the animes actually. Um, because I know you're supposed to watch them in order because they kind of connect or something. I heard. No, no, no they, don't. they don't. You don't, don't at all. To. Even like the Wolverine and X Men one. You do not have to watch them in any oh, order. Good. All right. It's not even the same dude playing Wolverine. Oh wow! They just didn't care. Did yeah. They? The the only time Wolverine shows up in the Iron Man one, just like as a hey, these are the two guys who play bo- Brothers on Heroes. We're gonna have them talk to each other. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> I actually asked. Um, I, I I met uh, Milo Ventimiglia at Comic Con. Mm-hmm. And I asked him about that, and he said, and because I went to the Marvel anime panel, and he was talking about it, so I was just, that was just fun. For, like, Heroes fans seeing Wolverine and Iron Man talk to each other when it's really Peter and Nathan Petrelli, it's a little weird. Yeah. Malenga, what else you got to talk about here? Uh, it, it, that reminds me of something with Wolverine and uh, mm-hmm. Hugh Jackman. I know he got slated for another, uh, not outside of the uh, X-Men series but i think there's going to be another wolverine movie i don't know if that was if that's what i heard or the musical that, that he was <laughs> wait, wait wait is hugh jackman doing the musical because he can oh my god he i absolutely can do that have joss whedon direct wolverine the musical oh i, I don't even know <laughs> unless there was real blood on stage yeah hey so yeah if they can have Carnage in a Broadway play, they can have Wolverine, all right? <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't know about that Carnage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Side note, side note, I saw... Turn I, Off the Dark was an interesting experience. I saw ads for the Shriner Circus coming to the uh, the, the console arena here in Pittsburgh and uh, featuring Spider-Man? 
What? That's odd. Also, apparently, the Marvel Live Experience is coming in, I think, October as well. So whatever that's going to gonna that. be. I don't know if I want to go to that. I, I kind of want to go to that, but I kind of don't want to go to that. I kind of want to go to that, but I want to pay fifty bucks for a ticket for it. Yeah, like like maybe it's, a that, that's a fifteen or just to kind of see what's going on. Like it just seems like it's no. hey, if you can't go to Comic Con, here's our entire booth, but blown up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> With oh, acrobatics no. and stuff. Yeah. Hey, so yeah, the movies I watched this weekend or the last week, uh, I saw Three Days to Kill. I am so glad I did not see that in theaters. I would have been begging and crying for my money back. I did see Noah, but I already gave my review on that. Um, I saw this documentary, which uh, the free to play. Oh from yeah, I heard about this. The guys of uh, Valve. Yeah. Um, very interesting. I I would recommend it, and it is free to watch. You can find it on YouTube. You can find it on their site. I want to say it might be on Netflix, but I, I watch it on YouTube. Um, so what is very, it? Is it about Dota? Yeah, it's about Dota. Um, and it's basically, I don't know if this is still accurate, but it was the highest prize yet in for gaming professionally. Mm-hmm. So something like $1.6 mm-hmm. But I feel like NFL... Uh, Xbox NFL games were, I guess, $1 million prizes. Hmm. So, yeah, this would be the highest highest grossing for a gamer, which led to a pretty interesting discussion thereafter of is the gaming industry the next big profe- untapped profession? There's a lot happening. Uh, I know I've been seeing a lot of uh, – well, I, I follow I, Justine, uh, and, and she's always, you know, hosting these things. Um, and, and, and so I, I, you know, so I see all the Instagrams of how huge these things are. And, and Mike, you, last time I, I was at Comic-Con with you, how big that presence was. It was like half of one of the rooms in uh, oh, yeah. uh, the one of the four rooms, or one of the big three, four, four rooms at, at New York Com- Comic-Con, announced in 2011. And that was like some Intel thing, right? And whether they're playing StarCraft and a bunch of other stuff, like this is becoming a big deal. Look at Twitch. There's something about Twitch TV is like one or two percent of all the traffic on the internet right now, which that doesn't yeah. sound like much, but that is really significant. That's probably thanks to Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, now. Uh. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> but if you want to hear more about that, you can check out past episodes of Boss Battle on insertcointobegin.com. Thank you. That's synergy, guys. Synergy. Right. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, but that's that's basically what I've been watching. And a lot of uh, television, Star Wars, Clone Wars, or Clone Wars, I've been watching a lot of that on Netflix. Yeah, I have too. I don't, I watch it, but I don't know if I enjoy it. Yeah, somebody told me to just fight through it. It gets better. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I skipped the first season because I'm pretty sure I watched the first season and, and I like, like I remember seeing the ads for like the bounty hunter guy with the hat that looks like yeah. the guy from Stranger's Wrath, um, and uh, and everybody's going nuts about this last season. And it's just like the movies. I mean, it, it's more entertaining to me than the movies, but it still feels so sterilized you know what i mean like yeah i i don't know what they did it's just, it just like they they put more into this but it, like that whole part of the star wars universe just feels like it's devoid of all emotion yeah no i mean i agree i definitely will say in the second season though they start to looks like they they're trying to stitch together a story plot okay um it's not just like here's random I, crap that happens in a war i don't understand because the movies yeah, did yeah. not do a good job of explaining them um and but there's it's still like i don't because i don't remember remember this is like around the time of that writer's strike too okay so i don't know how much of that um plays into george lucas's the mind of george lucas but uh I don't yeah. think you touch too much on this series, to be honest. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, what about you, Mike? What are you watching? Uh, well, I just watched Inglorious Bastards again last night. Oh, so good. Ooh. I need to watch that again. It's, it's, just, it's just a fun movie. Um, one thing I want to try and watch, but I still don't know if it's available for mass consumption yet, is a documentary called I Know That Voice. 
Mm, I've heard about this one. Yeah, it's um, done by um, Joe DiMaggio, who mm-hmm. plays Bender on Futurama. Was he on? Um, I feel like I feel like he was on um, um, Nerdist talking about this. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, he's he's been in a whole bunch of stuff. He was mm-hmm. Joker in one of the animated DC movies, but that's one documentary I want to watch. But one thing I, of course, have been watching is Arrow because it's awesome. Yeah, even though la- last week's wasn't that good, but. Like it's it's been very high quality. Okay. Nice. Cool. Well, we all know what movie's coming out this weekend. So yeah, Captain America. Is there any, is there really anything else we care about? Captain America. Captain America. Captain America. Probably some. And probably something by Tyler. Captain Ty- America. Uh, probably something by. Oh, crap, I forgot his name. Tyler Perry. Is that right? And and oh, um yes. and Kevin Hart. They're gonna be Kevin in the Hart. same movie. Okay. And Seth MacFarlane's directing it. Oh, and it's a musical? <laughs> yes. And, uh, and Neil Patrick Harris makes a cameo. Because, of course. Of just, course. Because. just because. Just <laughs> because. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I, I can't wait for Thursday. I'm seeing the Captain America double feature at the Alamo Draft House. Nice. Oh, the man. double feature with, with what? What else? Captain, Captain America 1, Captain America 2. Oh, man. Oh man, you're gonna see that, that. five dollar unlimited popcorn is going to pay in droves, my friends. <laughs> oh man, Bad Mike, this is for you. Do not share that though. <laughs> oh wait, you won't get that. Hey, don't not share things on the show. <laughs> Mike, um, you have to send that to the other Mike. Uh, okay, I'll I'll figure that out after the show. So if that's oh, well, Ango, you're at at Rambling Mango. That's correct. I'm going to go see Bad Words right now. Yes, let me know how that is. That looks like it's amazing. I hear really good things about it. And also, Mad Mike is at Mad Mike 4883 And this week, he'll be joining me on like almost every podcast that we do up here. Uh, so, Mike and Mike evening! So if you're here live, stay tuned <laughs> for, um, uh, of course, Awesome Cast uh, and... and, and wrestling mayhem show later this later tonight after we talk with uh one good one zach speaking of movies uh we're talking to zach gowan former wwe superstar about a movie that's releasing this week from sorgatron media finding zach gowan and it's going to be available on digital and it's also going to be available at wrestlecon uh, wrestlemania weekend down there in new orleans yes it's not like finding nemo and i'm not asking him that (laughs) <laughs> so there you go um but you can check out all that stuff this show and others over at sorgatronmedia.com we do this thing live at 5 30 p.m eastern time at live.sorgatronmedia.com or just go to sorgatronmedia.com we got links up there so you can't miss it right off the bat you join us in the chat room um and let us know how much you disagree with malenga's opinion on movies as as chachi often does i know so <laughs> with that hey, we, we agreed on one movie i think oh good oh good that's that's but that's a good that's a good start. It's not my fault that some people just have bad taste. Oh, oh! <laughs> I am, I appreciate it. my bad taste, and I don't care who knows it. I still love Batman and Robin. Oh, suck it, suck it haters! Oh. Haters to the back. Oh. A freeze is coming. Oh, with that for Malengo and Mike, this is Sorg. We'll see you guys next time.